All right, so we're live, Judith. When did you have surgery? Uh, when did, was your original cataract surgery? On my left eye in August of 2020. So we're now July 2021. It's 11 months ago, you had surgery to your left eye right. and you had just a monofocal lens, a basic lens. And then um, how did it go? Uh, from the first day, I could tell it was not good. I had the, um, I call it like a fuzzy look on the left side of my eye from the very first day. And uh, I told it, the doctor about it. He said, it'll probably go away. And with every checkup, it never got better. And it was very bothersome to me. And uh, he would not help me with, you know, what it was. And I went online and um, found your video. And can you describe what you saw from the left eye that was bothersome? To me, and I described it to the doctor at first, especially, it was almost like a moving fuzziness on this side of the eye. And I was very irritated by it. Would you describe it as like a dark crescent oh, out to the side? Definitely a dark crescent, yes. I My vision just seemed to stop right here, you know, instead of seeing it all the way. I just sort of, sort of saw a half moon. And it was there from the get-go and it never went away for 11 months. Exactly. Um, and then you talked to your ophthalmologist in Chicago, in the Chicago area, and they said, what, what did they tell you? Well, he went, once I discovered what it was online, I approached him with it and he said, um, if you, you, your brain will take over and it will go away. And um, he finally gave me the name of it, which I already knew, because I looked it up, um, but he would not do anything for me. And uh, so I did wait. And uh, the following January, I went to Florida and I thought, well, maybe there's a doctor in Florida. Well, I'd seen two other doctors in Chicago and then I started- About the same issue saying, yes. hey, what's going on with this little yes. shadow? What'd yes. they tell you? They will not do a surgery for me. They would not touch it. They kept telling me it would go away. Okay. And then I checked doctors in Florida, no one. And then I uh, no took a trip five. to no Arizona five. and on the way back, I was coming back through uh, Texas and I thought, I'll give you a call. And I did and I was so glad to see that you would you would fix this for me. Okay, so the term is called negative dysphotopsia. It's a shadow out to the side, and we'll we'll put a link to that video that I made in the section below this video. And so what we did yesterday, so you flew in from Chicago, yes. and we've assessed it, we dilated the pupil. I'll show a picture of your preoperative photograph. I'm gonna show uh, some picture, a video clip of the surgery itself, but we did a procedure called reverse optic capture, and we just, moved the lens a little bit toward the front of the eye. Treatment of negative dysphotopsia involves moving the intraocular lens or IOL optic from inside the capsular bag anteriorly to place the optic anterior to the anterior capsular leaflets while keeping the IOL haptics inside the capsular bag in a procedure known as reverse optic capture. To achieve reverse optic capture, or ROC, we extricate the eye well from inside the capsular bag using viscoelastic, then gently reposition it to make sure the haptics remain inside the capsular bag while the optic is now anterior or in front of the anterior capsular rim. In my experience, ROC cures negative dysphotopsia in over 90% of cases. This procedure is performed with eye drop anesthetic and takes about 10 minutes to perform. And uh, that was yesterday afternoon. It's been less than 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And now today, what do you notice from the left eye? I woke up this morning and things were clear all across and it was exciting and I just opened up draperies and turned on lights and it felt good. That felt shadow's gone, good. completely the gone? shadow is completely gone. And I, I, I just feel so relaxed with 
not having that irritating me over to the side. Did you ever try to put your hand out to the side? Yes. And, and block I, it? Would it go away when you did that? Yes. I, I, it didn't uh, seem to appear at that time. But when you had the negative dysphotopsy, when you did that movement, can you show it again? It Would the shadow go away? Yes. Okay, so that's a very diagnostic kind of movement. Right. Okay. I even got glasses with a black inner line because one theory was that would help me forget about it. Yeah. It work. Awesome. So, yeah. Um, any other comments? No, but thank you very much. Yeah. I'm so happy. Thank you. Good. Thanks.